and he was driving it one day down a gravel track and he thought I wonder how fast I can go down here before I lose control what and then he found out by losing control and writing it off oh no what a really? silly twat this is what it's exactly what old people do by the seaside oh, right, right here. yeah it is isn't it Go to a vista. Always go to a vista, but if you're properly old, you don't actually get out and do any form of walking. You just look, mm. eat, mm. drink, weak lemon drink, mm. and then you just go. You just go back home. Mm. Got a bit of gristle on the go there. I oh, see. I had a bit of a situation there. Um, yes. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, drive somewhere. Yeah. Great vista. Don't need to get out the car because you brought food from home. Yeah, always. You don't eat out, you're not a fool. And uh, look at the vista. And if you do have a dog, it's one of those small ones that don't really need proper walking. Mm. Just let it run around the car a bit. <laughs> Scramble over the seats. Yeah. Let it run around the civet. Yeah. And back home, it's a mm. dorm of bungalow. Mm. I love a dorm of bungalow. Do you? Mm. I've basically never one. I've I've always find dormer bungalows a bit weird because it's like just are you a bungalow or are you a house? Well, you're a house because you have an upstairs, so you're not a bungalow. <laughs> mm. It's a cheat. They're like the, the cheating bungalows, mm. like a tax swindle bungalow. Well, I don't think there is any swindle. <laughs> have you got an upstairs? No. <laughs> what are those windows I can see? Mm. Um, <laughs> it's to let the stuff in my loft look out. Yeah. What's in your loft? A couple of bedrooms and a bathroom. Oh shit! Yeah. Do you know what? The, 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 all of the medics and dietitians in, in professional cycling live in dorm bungalows. What's that up there? Is that another room? Well, no. <laughs> you're suggesting it's because they're compulsive liars. <laughs> I'm, I'm a naturally deceitful person and I would like to live in the most naturally deceitful kind of house. <laughs> Which is the Dormer Bungalow, mm. because it's not the thing that it has in the very title of it. When, when, I, was, when I was 17, you know, and all my mates were driving around in Astra GTEs and um, Cav SRs and things. <clears throat> um, they're all front wheel drive cars, everyone had a front wheel drive car pretty much. Mm. Remember one of them used to do the the, the front wheel drive reverse donut mm. because it was the it was one of the only skills that you could do in a tight car park you know it, but you know you know what they do you know what it looks like where it's just thrashing around like that in reverse and, and the reverse gear was really vocal and I saw a cat throwing up the other day have you ever seen a cat throw up it reverses in a yeah, really yeah. tight circle they do it in a circle yeah well mine do like really so tight, good. just on uh, full lock. Uh, it's on full <laughs> lock, <laughs> and the cat's going. Mm. Ah, ah, ah. And I thought that's basically a front-wheel drive car doing a reverse donut. It's cat vomiting. It's the same. I just, I, I, yeah, which, I have less worry. First? I have less worry that the cat is uh, going to pop one of its half shafts out of the gearbox, <laughs> which is what always goes through me when <laughs> we see people being twats in front-wheel drive cars. Like they just go, oh, mm. mate. That's not doing my mechanical sympathy much good. Well, the, right. the, the GTE in question, um, the gearbox was a little bit poorly. He used to have to start it in first gear in order to get it into first gear. So you couldn't like start it in neutral and then put the clutch down and then select first, you just wouldn't have it. You have to shut the car off, put it into first, yeah. then start the car with the clutch down and then go. <laughs> Every time. Mm -hmm. You know this Raptor? Yeah. It's like a modern day fall guy. Yeah. For those of us that grew up in the 80s. Mm. I didn't know we were going to talk about the fall guy at all. In fact, it hadn't even crossed my mind. But yet, no, mine neither until. No. Well, suddenly went, oh, well, that's the obvious reason why this yeah. is great. And you know, you said it, it's the sort of car that an, an idiot might buy. Or people might think you're an idiot even when you're not. Mm. Well, I found these right. My kids are playing with these. 
My kids are playing with these. What? These are both my uh, my glasses. They were mine. These I bought at university. For Why those. do they have those? Look, I don't know. I don't even know these. Didn't even know these existed. But you know, like in the nineties, lots you're... of seventies disco mm. club nights. Oh, gotcha. This was for the seventies disco club night. And doesn't matter how drunk you got. I'm never, gonna say they're, they're sunglasses for someone who works on an oil rig, and <laughs> his job is to look over the side a lot. They were drunk proof. Yeah, okay. they're, they're not coming off. And okay. these, I, I'm ashamed to admit, were my first ever pair of glasses, proper NHS. I mean, seriously. And they still got your lens. When I was them? twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put them on. Might be a bit narrow for your face, because oh, yeah. for, for a child. You don't what like time, an absolute. What time does jazz club start? Yeah. <laughs> you don't like an absolute goon. Um, it you is a wonder. You weren't that, I, so you weren't that short sighted at this. What, how, no, how old were you? 12, being? 12. Do you and have any pictures of you wearing these glasses? You must do. I do. Your so parents well. must do. I yeah. bet there's one still hanging in your parents' house somewhere. Yeah. But I went quickly, went David Baddiel and went for circular ones. It is a wonder though. I used to wear those and girls talked to me and I actually had a girlfriend at one point. The circular spectacle has come back, have mm. you noticed? Mm. Mm. Quite fashionable again. A lot of, lot of young people wearing the circular glasses. Mm. And um, I love it. It's a weird one. No, but it's a sign of getting old, isn't it? When you sort of feel you find yourself going, oh, I remember the last time those were fashionable. Well, yeah, I was wearing them in the, in the early 90s. Yeah, I had some quite round glasses. Mm. My memory of the circular glasses is that they sort of went out of fashion and were only worn by pricks. Put these on. A friend of mine. Go, go full. Did you just bring these for your own amusement? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these. On. We can look like even... terrible undercover. We are the full guys. <laughs> really terrible we're, we're, undercover. We are. Police. We're gonna go bounty hunting. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange colour these make everything. Tobacco tints, mate. Seventies spec. Yeah. It does make the world look like the seventies. So if we were bounty hunting now, well, <laughs> well we've we've come to the wrong place because we're sitting in a field. So we're shit bounty hunters. Well, we're not, and we're also in the wrong country because it doesn't really happen in the UK. Oh yeah, uh, uh. that's a good point. Actually, there's no uh, bounty just, hunting in the UK. Is no, no, sort of thing. Unless you're going to a petrol station shop looking for a coconut-based <laughs> chocolate bar. Oh, the, uh, the the red ones, the dark ones. I don't like a bounty at all. Oh, I absolutely love a dark Do you? Bounty. I love a dark bounty. That's just so dry. Mm -mm. So dry. Mm -mm. It'd be like, it's like sort of breaking open an MDF cupboard door and <laughs> just eating the middle bit. <laughs> no, but you have to be fully hydrated before you start. Well, that's no good, is it? No. Does it say out in the wrapper? No. Warning. Have a glass of water handy, because this motherfucker is dry. <laughs> I just look like a Rolls Cornish driver. Uh, Do I? No, I think you look more like... I've just... It's my first visit to Morocco. <laughs> and I come out of the airport. Yeah. And who is offering to drive me to my hotel uh, in his Mercedes W123? Yeah. But you, it is, and the back is for much a good too price, high. or at least what you claim is it's a good, good price. price. Yes, the back is either too high or too low. Yeah, There's something wrong with the suspension. As I lean back to talk to you, because my shirt's unbuttoned to about there, within within thirty seconds of meeting me, mm. you see my nipples. Because I do that, and you just go, "I've just seen the guy's nipples. It's way too much. I don't don't need that." Also, I think you smell overpowering <laughs> of aftershave. Oh, I thought like you were saying sort of a fug of aftershave that is slowly suffocating me. What's my name? It's weird actually because it's still Johnny for some reason. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, you could be Spanish, and you've had to leave Spain in a hurry for reasons that you don't go into. <laughs> and you just crossed the water to Morocco, mm. where you now mm. apply a living mm. as a taxi driver. Mm. in an old medium-sized Mercedes that was due to be scrapped mm. but which miraculously you have somehow kept on the road. Do 
you know what I've got to do tomorrow? No. no. I've got to do some admin. Have you? I've been putting it off. Home admin. Well, not home admin, like work admin. The admin of the self-employed. Is this invoicing? Invoicing. Mm. But worse than that, updating my spreadsheet. I've been doing quite a lot of different bits of work for different people recently. Yeah. And that all needs to be kept <coughs> on top of. Like, yeah, I love doing the work, I just don't Yeah, I don't, the, the, that's it, it's the admin bit. And my wife is good at admin, and she used to help me out, but she's super busy with her proper job. Yeah. It's not fair of me to go, oh, I don't understand how it works. But the truth is, I don't understand how specifically Microsoft Excel works. Oh, it's, it's, it's the work of Satan. It's the most annoying, toss awful computer program I can think of. Drives me spare. It's funny you should say that because my wife lives by Excel. She's yeah, very, my wife very, does. Really, really un understands it, can put together any kind of spreadsheet and just go, it's easy. Yeah. Just add that column and add a cell that I can't add a cell. Add a cell? Oh, what's up, bud? I spent an hour trying to add a cell. Destroy totally, the screen with a pirate. Totally destroyed. No. Oh, yeah. That's a, how with. have you made them different widths? It's just easy to just do that. I did but then, but I did that, and then the other one got all scrunched up, and now for some reason, that one, which is supposed to be just like it's got people's names and addresses in it, yeah. so every time I do that, it turns that, like someone's name, into pounds. How she, is it doing this? She, she set mine up so it would automatically add that. Well, somehow I trash the formula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it adds three times the VAT without me knowing. Let me ask you this then. Did you have to, because I had exactly the same thing my wife builds a spreadsheet for me for my yeah. invoices. And having admitted that I made a total rat cock of some elements. I mean, it, proper rats, Peters. I'd say, yeah, I'm really sorry. But every time I try and type the number seven, for some reason, it, uh, it fills in that cell with the entire contents of the Holy Bible. I don't know how I've made it do that, but that's what it's doing. Also, um, anything that I say, uh, I've done work for the BBC, it minuses £100,000 from all amounts. I don't know why. How does it do it? It's just it's, it's making up its own formula that are just fictional. And I said to her, um, can, uh, can you just sort that out? And she went, yeah. yeah. See, it, I, I, how do you know? It's like wizardry. Our, our brains are, are a total incompatibility with, <coughs> with Excel. Yes. I don't know whether most men don't understand. Oh, no, I know, I know some men who are good at Excel. Is it just us just, or idiots? I think it's just us. I think it might be. I was hoping certain, that wasn't the case. A certain type of idiotic man of the Is kind the, that's in this car now <laughs> just struggles with some part of Excel. But I. It, Ford Raptor drivers don't do Excel. But there's, there's a. There's a no, the, the thing is, that's true to a point. But there's some parts of Excel that are clearly just made to be spiteful. They're awful. The way that it. I think when you try and type in some words, maybe this is why I don't like it because it's designed for numbers, not words, and I don't like numbers, just yeah. like words. But when you type in words, and there's that thing where then you need to edit it, and you have to go to that some stupid little top bar bit. It doesn't work. And then it just the things disappear, and it. Uh, and then, and then, then there's an exclamation mark where a formula yeah. should be, and yeah. I ruined it. Yeah, and oh, I, can't, I, see, I tried uh, to undo it, but it doesn't work. Yeah. You, you've wanted to type in the date. Well, I've decided that from now on, every time you type the date, I'm going to do 75 hash marks, and then the rest, <laughs> I'm going to try and convert the date to Swiss francs. 